was really something. And so I laid my hands on him right in the pus. He got born again with leprosy. What's the matter with this child? Ah, I'm a very blessed fellow. I get to see this healed all over the world. It's nice. You hear me? Do you hear me? Jesus, lover of my soul. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. See, I'm not supposed to do that in public. I'm not supposed to expose him to your eyes. See, that's how y'all believe. No, I need to expose him to Jesus. You hear me? <laughs> to care. To compassion. <laughs> That's how they get healed. Remind me to tell you about Brazil in just a minute. Let me finish my story. I don't know why you interrupt me. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. So I preached. The odor stayed. The man stayed. I left. The odor washes off. Y'all. But the effect you can have on people can't wash off. It's God. Do you hear me? It's God. And there's no amount of your drugs, of your intellect can do what I saw God do. You don't have enough money to appropriate this. <laughs> I went back there a few weeks later and there wasn't any old. I didn't even remember it. I... I never do hardly. <laughs> Just go around being a nut. It's okay with God for me to be a nut too. So I help myself. <laughs> Holy Ghost. And you know what I got to see? There was a young man sitting right on the front row. I saw this with my own eyes. And I walk over to him. How you doing? You new? Yes, sir, Brother David, I'm new. I said, how you know me? He said, you prayed for me. You got me born again a couple of weeks ago. I said, oh, no. No, no. You got me confused, son. He said, Brother David, how can we confuse you? You're the only white guy out here. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> well, you got a point, don't you? And I wonder why. I wonder why I'm the only one. Church, how is it that all over the world I know where there are hundreds Thousands of square miles with no gospel. Why? Is that? Why do you reckon? That's irritating. I'm telling you. Keep the job. It's irritating. They need to know about Jesus. And it's my responsibility to tell them. He said, Brother David, I was the guy with the rags. I said, Excuse me? I said, you don't mind explaining to me how you got a nose? Listen to this. 48 hours, between 48 hours and 72 hours, between two and three days after we prayed, his pain went away. He grew new ears. He grew a new nose. New fingers. New toes. I felt of every one of them. Myself, I verified those toes. It was brand new. His skin was beautiful. I touched it. I touched his nose, his ears. Man, I just was astounded. Wonder-working miracle. Now that right there is an amazing thing. Holy Ghost. Say it. No, you. Say Brazil. Say it to me. Now, there. Bother me. Say it. Say it again. Yes, sir! Don't you love it? I like it when people are aggressive, don't you? It scares you though, don't it? You want to stay away, don't you? God, thank you. Thanks. You know, I have to tell you about I have to tell you about Africa too. You're doing good. Just stay with me. Holy Ghost. See Miss Hogan, look. How nice. I like this, don't I? You don't know what it really knows. <laughs> 
but you see, I'm a grandpa. And grandpas like this stuff. Holy Ghost. Hey, thank you. Holy Ghost. How can I put up with a, a daddy doing that to me? Oh, it's easy. Because what if I'm right? And what if God touches that little boy right there? Huh? What do you? What do you? <laughs> well, why aren't you afraid it won't happen? Because I don't fear like you do. I don't have that worry. Because I was in Brazil. There wasn't, there were so many thousands of people. We had this huge hall, it was four or five times this. There were so many people, there wasn't any place to put the sick. So they put all the incurables in wheelchairs on the platform, huge platform with me. Boy, there was dozens of them. And one of them was cerebral palsy, 32 years. And I walked over there to her, and I knelt down in front of her and held her hands on my face. Put her down because there's so many to pray for. I can't, I can't stay very long. It's all right, you're doing fine. You're doing great. Holy Ghost. You see that man right there will love me for taking time with his boy. And that's what you're supposed to do. Isn't that right? Do you know him? No, I've never seen him before. It's not relevant, but it is my responsibility. Why? Because he's with me. That's why. How about that? I heard the crowd, when, when there's a great miracle, the crowd gasps. Everybody, and I like to hear that, actually. But I have to find it, what they're gasping at. I turn around on that stage, and there's this woman getting up by this wheelchair seat. Thirty-two years she'd been in prison in that wheelchair. Till you spent your time in there, you don't criticize them, you don't think, you don't, you don't offer your opinion. If you can't get them out of jail, don't bother. <laughs> Holy Ghost. That lady was standing up, and I went walking to her. She was trying to get to me, see. And I let her. Her bones were popping and snapping. She was talking to me in Portuguese. And my Portuguese is okay, but it's not that fluent, actually. <laughs> but I can't understand pretty good. And I got over to her. And I held her. Boy, what an awesome, awesome thing. Isn't that something? Wonder working me. I've come to the understanding that the reason that you don't have the power of God is because you just don't care. And I have to say, I, when I started, I cared more about me seeing it. I really did. I, I wanted to see God. I wanted to satisfy myself that He was not dead. That with Jesus it did not die. That with the apostles it did not die. I wanted me satisfied. And you know what? I got satisfied. God let me get satisfied. And now, son, I want that daddy satisfied. I want that daddy satisfied. I want that mama satisfied. What's the name of the thing bothering your daughter? 